Police have now identified the person they're looking for along Tuscornia Beach. 23-year-old Ica Krebs of St. Joseph is believed to have been washed over the pier last week. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is here now. And Patrick, please say they might have to expand their search. Yeah, Rick, this all started on Friday when the body of Brandy Menino washed ashore. Police say that she was with Krebs and as police search, friends say they still can't believe this happened. It was a calm day on Lake Michigan. And that meant for the first time in days, police could continue the search for Ica Krebs. And today's about really the first day where we can get out here with divers and do it safely. So today we're going to search the, the break wall here and uh, just uh, see if we can locate anybody. Police searched along the pier where they believe Krebs was walking with his friend Brandy Menino Thursday night. Her body was found Friday morning. And for her friends, reality still hasn't sunk in. It's one of those things where I seriously read that email over and over and over again when we got the all staff email that it that it was Brandy that they found and I'm I'm dreading going to her, to her visitation tonight because I know that's when it's going to just all sink in. Today, police use divers in an unmanned underwater vehicle in their search, but they say there's a sad lesson to be learned from this. I don't think people understand the full power of water, you know, at eight pounds a gallon and you get a big wave wash over you, you can't, you can't stand up, you can't, and once you fall down, you're just going to wash right off with the wave and it should be nowhere near out here when those waves are crashing over. And for Menino's friends and co-workers, they're taking away a different lesson. Just live every day like it was your last because I would desperately go back to that day, give her a hug and let her know how much she meant to me if I could. You just never know. Now, police say the biggest takeaway here is to stay away from the pier during those storms. It's something you hear Abby, Matt, and really all of us say anytime they're in one of these big storms. But police say that just not enough people pay attention to that message. Yeah, Patrick, any idea right now how they may expand that search? Yeah, Rick, a lot of it really depends on weather. One of the problems that they've had is that it's kind of hard to tell exactly where the currents are going to go, especially with the bad weather we've had. So they'll be discussing new search ideas and methods if they can't find him today, and they'll take it from there. Patrick, thanks.